I mean, I believe the devil is real and that he works terrible things in our society. That's a crazy conspiracy theory to a lot of very well-educated people in this country right now. That is J.D. Vance, the senator from Ohio that Donald Trump just named as his vice presidential running mate, speaking at a never-before-reported-on closed-door event for young conservatives in 2021. Because look, if you listen to Rachel Maddow every night, the basic worldview that you have is that like MAGA grandmas who have family dinners on Sunday and bake apple pies for their family are about to start a violent insurrection against this country. But if you listen to Alex Jones every day, you would believe uh, that, a, that a transnational financial elite controls things in our country, that they hate our society, and oh, by the way, a lot of them are probably sex perverts too. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually a hell of a lot more true than Rachel Maddow's view of society. You may know Vance from his best-selling memoir to Netflix special, Hillbilly Elegy, where he recounts growing up with a working-class Appalachian family struggling with poverty and addiction. You might also know Vance from his venture capitalist era, where he formed a pivotal connection with PayPal co-founder and Silicon Valley mogul Peter Thiel, who he also name-drops in this closed-door speech. I'm very close friends with Peter Thiel. I think Peter Thiel is one of the most important sources of non-conventional truth in our society. Peter Thiel believes some things that are considered crazy by opinion makers. We have to get away from this weird tension that we feel in our chest when somebody says, this person believes something crazy, therefore you must denounce them. I'm regularly asked by donors in Ohio whether um, I'm, I'd be willing to denounce MTG, Marjorie Taylor Greene. I would say, why? Why do you want me to denounce this person? Well, she believes these crazy things. Who cares? Fans made these remarks at a September 2021 gathering of the Teneo Network, an invitation-only group of young conservatives, including elected officials, pro-athletes, finance execs, and media figures. Teneo's chairman is a man named Leonard Leo, a legal activist who ProPublica investigations have found have built a pipeline of lawyers who interpret the Constitution based off of the original intent of the framers. Leo helped confirm all six conservative justices currently serving on the U.S. Supreme Court. Judges who have pushed to restrict abortion rights and roll back on corporate regulation. Adding Vance to the Republican ticket bolsters the connection between Leo and the Trump 2024 campaign. It also strengthens ties between a Trump re-election bid and the Project 2025 blueprint, which outlines plans for a second Trump administration, including firing thousands of career civil servants, shuttering the Department of Education, and replacing plans to combat climate change with ramped up fossil fuel production. Project 2025, a 900-page outline of priorities for the next conservative president, addresses a large swath of issues that Vance has been increasingly vocal about since that Teneo Network speech. But, like, ladies and gentlemen, the most important truths often come from people who are crazy 60% of the time, but they're right 40% of the time.